What is up, Idle Ninjas? It's Aaron here today. And today we're going to be talking about ultimate shurikens and how to obtain them and whatnot. So, and we'll just talk about how to get them. So basically, what you got to do initially is you have to master your divine shurikens. Um, in order to master your sh uh, divine shurikens, you have to get each one to the maximum level. And then once you get them to the maximum level, basically what you can do is you'll be able to dismantle them by clicking on it and then clicking the dismantle button and ask you how many you want to dismantle. Once you get those dismantled, you'll basically get some crimson orbs. And with these crimson orbs, you can craft your ultimate shuriken by going here and then going to your shurikens and then crafting your legendary shuriken. By... And if you can't see your legendary shuriken craft button, you have to just scroll down and press craft. Um, basically, once you craft that, you go over here to waiting for confirmation. You'll see it right here in this little box right here. You'll click it and it'll say either reroll or like upset. Um, basically, you can keep rerolling the shuriken until you get the one that you want. And then once you're happy with the result, you'll press accept. All right, so let's talk about the ultimate shurikens now. Each ultimate shuriken, basically per level, you'll get a point. You either can put it into multi-shot, penetration, shuriken speed, shuriken size, MP cost and stack reduction. So let's go ahead and talk about what each um, stat does. So multi-shot lets you fire an additional um, shuriken off of your base attack. And this effect only af affects the thrown shurikens and not the actual effect itself. Alright, the next stat we have is penetration. Um, this lets you hit an additional monster when you throw your um, original shuriken. So if we were to hit this monster right here, it could penetrate that one and hit this one with a plus one penetration. Now this doesn't affect the um, the shuriken effect either, so it's just the uh, thrown shuriken. The next stat would be the shuriken speed, and this is just uh, affects your throwing speed, not your cooldown or anything, or the effect. It just affects how fast you'll see it moving across the screen. Um, Next one is the shuriken size, and it's just the actual size of your shuriken. So if you see like this one, this one gets bigger, so you, basically with more points in shuriken size, the bigger your shuriken will actually be. And then um, MP cost. Basically it differs between the ultimate shurikens and, and the amount of um, MP that it costs to cast it. So each ultimate uh, consumes 1000 MP for every you know X amount of attacks depending on it and basically with each point into this one it reduces that cost um, I'm not too sure how much it reduces the cost by we haven't had any con confirmation from the dev team or for any of the GM's and I haven't been able to test it myself yet so I'm not too sure on that part yet and finally the next one is stack reduction stack reduction basically reduces the um, the stack sizes so if you can actually see, you have like a little, little um, circle right here that says 3, 2, 1 or whatever. That's the stack reduction cost. So basically without stack reduction, the initial cost of this is 5. And with each point into it, it reduces it by 1. So that's how we achieve a stack reduction of 3. And most of the normal shrinkings have that, that, um, that uh, stack reduction of 3 basically. So now if we were to rate the um, priorities of the points to put into your ultimates, um, number one would be Shuriken, um, not Shuriken, but number one would be Stack Reduction. You want to max that one out with the first two levels. That would be the most important because the lower your Stack Reduction, the more of the um, ultimate effects you're going to get off. Alright, the next most important um, point to put into um, this is mainly for magic attack players um, that are using more than one ultimate. You want to get your uh, MP cost, so you want to reduce that MP cost because I've noticed um, when using multiple ultimates, it really, really eats up your red cookies really, really quickly. So having a lower MP cost actually helps out quite a bit. Um, attack players can use that too. I'm not too sure how... How much MP cost they're actually using when they are um, using their setup? I know the end game setup for attack is four ultimates, so yeah, they probably want to um, put points into MP cost too as well, unless they have a lot of red cookies to burn through. 
Um, but the other ones that you might want to do as an attack player would be um, Penetration and Multi-Shot. But really the most damage you're doing is from the effect, I think, with both um, Magic Attack and Attack Player. So MP Cost will probably be the next best thing in my opinion. I haven't tested it yet for Attack. I just know it's the best for Magic Attack. Alright, so right now there are 10 Ultimate Shurikens. Four of them are Magic Attack. And the rest, or the other six, are for um, Attack Players. So we have Meteor. We have Crimson Rose, Wave, Bubble, we got Wind Blast, we got Whirlwind, um, Thunder Spirit, Thunder Stroke, Swamp, and then we have Quake. So I would divide the ultimates into two different categories. You have your utility ultimates, and then you have your damage dealing ultimates, right? So for this one right here, Meteor, would be a damage dealing ultimate. However, the Meteor, when it attacks, it is very slow in animation, and it tends to miss a lot. So I would actually not recommend this one, Meteor, for match attack players to get as an ultimate, because you really don't use this one in, in actual map farming. You use it more towards um, Painter. But it's not necessary. Um, I would probably save this one till I had Crimson Rose, Thunderstroke, Thunder Spirit at level 2, and then I would come back and get Meteor. Alright, so Crimson Rose, I would um, categorize this as a utility um, ultimate, just because of that you get that 70% additional damage, right? And so basically what I use this one for is actually to buff the damage of my Thunder Spirit. Or not my Thunder Spirit, my Thunder Stroke. I mean, it does have some nice damage, but really we're, I'm using it for that additional damage. Alright, so let's go to the next one for Magic Deck. So this one right here is a Utility 1-2 um, Thunder Spirit. Um, we use this for uh, reducing damage, as well as buffing our um, Thunder Stroke. Now, Thunderstroke is our damage dealing um, ultimate. Does a shit ton of damage. Um, Thunderstroke is mainly used for quarter farming because it does a small AoE. And basically, you want to keep everything grouped together because they're coming down in a line. And once Thunderstroke hits, you just pretty much pop everything and you burst damage it. Um, Crimson Rose will be more for like the middle, as, in it, as for in right here in the corner. I mean, you can still use it in the corner. But it's probably better as a far as a mid because it tends to miss a lot inside of the um the corner. Uh, you'll see the thunder um crimson rose attack actually going into the walls right here. So you're only probably doing half of the damage as if you were out in the open. All right. So next we'll go on to the attack ultimates. Um, wave is a damage dealing one. <clears throat> Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. Um, bubble is like your heal. So basically it heals you. Um, you get like a small little shield. And this one actually synergizes really well with Thunderstroke. So as in a Magic Attack player, you can actually use Bubble instead of heal. However, in the future, I wish the dev team will make this into a hybrid like heal instead of just attack. It would be attack and Magic Attack like heal is. So if we actually look at heal... You have both the tags, Magic Attack and Attack. So in the future, I wish that's how a bubble would be. And I wish that it didn't have a double cooldown too. I'm not actually using bubble right now, but if we actually put bubble on real quick. You'll notice once it procs, you have this little red circle like Zerk does. And basically that's a double cooldown, right? Because you have to wait for that finish. But those two synergize really well. You can kind of see like a little AoE effect when, when they get tagged with it. You'll see like a little shock effect. It's pretty cool looking. Then we got Wind Blast. Wind Blast is basically an attack or damage dealing one. Um, same with Whirlwind. I would classify Swamp 
as a utility slash damage because it does a lot of damage plus it is a utility. Um, basically you're using it to buff your damage, 20, uh, get more damage increased when they get hit with Swamp. And then finally Quake. Quake is basically a damage dealing one. Alright, so now if I had to rank which ones to get in order uh, for magic attack players, um, it's really hard for me to determine which one to get between Crimson Rose and Thunderstroke. Um, before, initially, I was telling people to get Crimson Rose just because it was good. I think as your first ultimate, it's still not a bad choice to get. But towards the later game, I think Thunderstroke just out deals damage than um, Crimson Rose. So I might actually say to get Thunderstroke first if you're going to be planning on switching to a corner farm. If not... If you're going to stay mid, stick with Crimson Rose. Um, so either first and second would be Crimson Rose and Thunderstroke. Either one, depending on what kind of build and what kind of play style you want to do. The, the third one would be um, Thunder Spirits. Or getting Crimson Rose to level 2 or Thunderstroke to level 2. Whichever one you're using to do your damage. Um, basically those are the three... Ultimates that I would get first, and then once I got all those to level two, I would then go back and get Meteor. Um, I wouldn't rush for like a Crimson Rose Meteor combo. They s tend to feel really bad compared to Thunderstroke Thunder Spirit combo. Um, now if I had to rank the ultimate ones, I would probably go with. Quake first, followed by Swamp. Then I would get Wave. Get those all to level 2, probably. And then I would come back and get Bubble. So Quake, Swamp, Wave. Quake, Swamp, Wave, Bubble. And then get Bubble to level 2. And then you could probably pick up the other two ones right here just for the extra um, attack, um, Zen attack. Or you can try to get these to level 3, depending on what you want to do. Alright, so now let's talk about possible builds you can do with your um, ultimate shurikens, right? So I got my first ultimate. What kind of build can I go with for a magic attack player? Um, so basically right now, you're probably using the cookie cutter, blizz, ss, heal, um, transform, zerk combo. If you have attack speed gloves, you're probably not using zerk though. You're probably using something else like um, smoke screen or something like that. Um, so basically what you can do is you can do like Blizz, SS, um, Heal, Drop Transform for, um, like Crimson Rose or Thunderstroke, and then run Smoke for a mid setup. I'm um, doing a two, like, Shuriken setup, probably go with, like, depends what you get, right, um. Probably once you get to two shurikens, you're probably going to switch into a corner farm anyways. So you'll probably do like heal, headwind, uh, thunder spirit, smoking spirit. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, but uh, minus the bubble. This is really a really good corner farm setup. Um, if you decide to go with um, thunderstroke and crimson rose, basically you drop the spirit for CR. And pre pretty much the same setup, right? Um, Blizzard... Really tanks damage tanks to lack uh, fall off once you get to um basically a read. Um for uh magic attack setups, um for your first one you'll probably get probably get Quake as your first one, so you'll probably be doing like uh heal heal zerk goblin Headwind, Quake. Yeah. That's probably what I would do. Because you want to use keep Goblin because you want to have that um that utility of Goblin to decrease the enemy's um defense. And then you want your Quake to slap them. <clears throat> um 
Alright, now let's talk about um, ultimate synergizing of the shurikens, right? So basically, um, if you actually look at your ultimates, you'll notice that they have this electric tag, or if they're water, they have a water tag, fire has a fire tag, etc, etc, etc. Um, so if we actually click it, it says increases all electrical element damage by percent element electric element stats. So this is your um, alum, so stat right here. So right now, I have 100% of electric element stat. So that means they're taking 100% electrical damage, basically, right? So when we use two electrical um, elements, right, they stack on top of each other because we are marking them, basically. And a mark lasts, lasts six seconds. So once we mark them with this one, we'll mark them with this one, and yeah, it increases it. Because if we actually look up here, uh, da -da. Um, electrical element mark stacks and strengthens, so they stack up basically when you do electric to electric. Um, now, if we do it, will fire to electric, it replaces it. Um, what is that? Wind to electric, it kind of neutralizes it, and then you just um, ground to electric, it replaces it. But now, this one is interesting. If we use a water to electric, um, it actually delays the damage, and then magic resistance is actually reduced. So that's why I was saying bubble with the um, lightning is actually really good because we are reducing the damage they're dealing. Plus, we're reducing their electrical, um, their magic resi uh, resistance. Now, when we look at the fire tags, there's nothing that really synergizes well with fire for a magic attack player. Um, I mean, if we could do wind of fire, it would be pretty cool, but we can't because wind is attack. And um, ground to fire, can't do that one because ground is attack. Um, so basically, when we look at the synergizing of attack ones, though, you can't really synergize them, right? Because... It just replaces each mark. Now, when we use bubble, though, you got a little bit synergized, but not much. Um, reduce their attack speed. Doesn't really matter too much. And same right here. Um, when we go to wind, this one. Um, da -da 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 -da. So there's some synergizing with um, wind to ground. We reduce their agility, basically. And we get we do a little bit additional more damage. And there's not really much um, synergizing. The main thing that we're synergizing is element to element, basically. <clears throat> so if we actually go into our stat tab and we go over to info and we scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see your, what you can stack up to, right? So right now my electrical stack is up to three thirty five. So that's three hundred thirty five percent more um, electrical damage that I'm doing when my thunderstroke kicks, basically. And then, of course, we're kind of doing a little buff, too, with the water. So we're actually doing a little bit more than 330%, which is pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much it in the overview of um, Ultimate Shurikens. I'm not too sure what else you guys want me to go into on Ultimate Shurikens, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, I can't think of anything else to add in this video. So that's pretty much it. If you like the video, hit the like button, um, subscribe. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.